In this video, we are going to be discussing basic ZigBee concepts, including application profiles, cluster, and endpoints. What are application profiles? In ZigBee, an application profile is similar to a miniature protocol on top of a ZigBee stack that defines application level features. These features are real life use cases such as lighting network behavior, HVAC behavior, and other behavior which may be used on top of the networking technology. There is a 16-bit device ID within the profile that helps break down all of the things that the profile can do into different groups of functionality. These groups of functionality are the devices. The devices can be divided even further into something called a cluster. Clusters will be described in more detail later in this video. For example, the home automation profile dictates which devices can be a part of the home automation network. Each of these device types are given a unique ID. The devices each have their own capabilities regarding what they can do, what kind of properties they have, and what kind of message they send and receive. So, the home automation profile is defining the behavior of each device in the specification. However, if you want to build a custom profile because there is not currently a public profile which defines the behavior that you want, you would need to go to the Zigbee Alliance and request a private profile ID. This will allow the overall over-the-air messages to identify themselves as being a proprietary profile that will not conflict with other profiles. Example of profiles are HA, Home Automation, CBA, Commercial Building Automation, SE, Smart Energy, and MSP, Manufacturing Specific Profile. Regarding cluster, each device definition in a profile contains clusters. These clusters are a set of message types relating to a certain device function. Some examples include a metering cluster, a ballast control lighting cluster, a color control cluster, a temperature sensing cluster, and much more. Each cluster is enumerated by a 16-bit ID, similar to the way that profiles are enumerated. The clusters are defined in an organized fashion called the Zigbee Cluster Library often referred to as the ZCL. The ZCL defines a large set of clusters which can be used in any public profile, regardless if you are using a home automation or smart energy. If there is any overlap between the two profiles, you can define the same set of behavior by in inheriting it from the same library. Each cluster has a set of properties which is maintained on the device. These properties are the attributes. The cluster also contains a set of commands, which is what the device is responsible for being able to send or receive. The Zigbee cluster library also groups the clusters in something called functional domains. An example of a functional domain would be lighting. The types of clusters in this functional domain would consist of color control, ballast control, and lighting. Each cluster has a distinction of a client and server side. The client is the side that sends the message to the server. The server is the side that actually contains the attributes. For example, in a lighting cluster, the client side would typically be a switch which sends messages such as on-off commands to a server, which would be the light. The light, being the server, would contain the attributes such as if the light device is on or off, and what level of brightness the light is at. The ZCL also stresses a standardized message format for commands which ensures a level of interoperability that allows for ease of interoperable use between devices. If you are interested in the ZCL, feel free to go to the zigbee.org website where you can download the Zigbee cluster library for free.
As a graphical representation of the ZCL, we can see that there are a handful of functional domains. Each functional domain contains certain clusters represented by a colored oval, where the color is determined by the functional domain that it is contained in. So, the collection of all clusters in all domains is the Zigbee Cluster Library. The second half of the image shows different application profiles. These profiles contain clusters of different colors because each profile contains clusters from different functional domains. So one cluster, such as on-off, can be contained in multiple profiles. How do we associate different application profiles with a device? We do this with an endpoint. An endpoint is a service point with a Zigbee node. There can be, in theory, up to 255 endpoints defined within a node. However, there is an endpoint zero, which is built in by the stack and reserved for Zigbee device objects, and endpoints 240 to 255, which are reserved for special feature functions. This effectively leaves endpoints one through 239 for user applications. Endpoint 0 is currently used as the Zigbee device object endpoint for network configuration and administration and is generally used by the stack for gaining information about other devices. However, any application could use this endpoint as well to gain information about other devices. Endpoint 255 is used as a generic broadcast endpoint. So, if you were attempting to send a message to a device but were unsure which endpoint it was on, you could send to endpoint 255 of a node. In that case, it would be sent to all of the endpoints. So each endpoint implements a single device type from a single application profile. As an example, we could have a thermostat with four user-defined endpoints. Endpoint 0 is still the Zigbee device profile or the ZDO endpoint. However, endpoint 1 could be an HA endpoint acting as a thermostat device, while endpoint 2 is also HA but acting as an on-off output. Our third endpoint could be on the SE profile and could be an in-home display, while our last endpoint, endpoint 4, could be a proprietary endpoint. All of these device types would make up an application for one node. What can we take out of this example that is different endpoints on different single nodes may represent devices from different application profiles? It may be an issue if different security schemes contradict each other, but the ZCL itself does not have any reason why these endpoints cannot be on the same node. However, since the endpoint numbers are not standardized, there are often service discovery needed across devices to figure out what the endpoint devices are. So, when a node enters a network, it will often query the network to get endpoint information. Each endpoint, when queried, will return a cluster list and a descriptor. The cluster list describes the capabilities of the device by enumerating supported client and server clusters. The descriptor contains information about which profile that endpoint is implementing, what device ID is within that profile, and how many supported client and server clusters it supports. And finally, it may contain a bit mask which indicates the version and capabilities of the application profile. Ember Desktop's application builder tool will configure the device's description and clusters based on the chosen device type. To recap, the Zigbee architecture is organized in the application layer with an application profile sitting on top of a stack where each application profile is implemented on an endpoint as a single device type. Each of those endpoints implement one device from one profile where you can have multiple endpoints on a single node. That is how we end up with standard implementations of different devices running on a node. Thank you.